Hey, YouTubeites. It's Elwood Maker. I mean, Yukon Cornelius. No, I mean, Elwood Maker. <laughs> I'm here uh, in the Christmas season, and I wanted to do a little show and tell on the uh, Christmas gifts that I've been making for my family. Namely, these uh, tobacco jars, which obviously not everybody in my family smokes tobacco. So they can be used for whatever, but they make, but I started them as tobacco jars. So let me do a little show and tell and a little uh, talk about that. But first, obviously, it's part of YTPC. Let me do some housekeeping. I am uh, smoking a little uh, cherry smash. There you go, uh, Jay. In my Savinelli uh, unfinished. Whatever this is, it's a little lumberman. Which, uh, when I put it down, I put it down in my little pipe rest I made, which is another video. And I'm drinking some uh, Tazo uh, Awake English Breakfast, which is my favorite kind of tea. So, let's talk about these. Uh, leather covered tobacco jars which again if you're following me on Instagram at Elwood Maker at Elwood Maker you've been seeing them for a while I've been doing quite a few mainly I started doing these rounders as they're called kind of a standard thing from Tandy Leather I started trying to you know, use them to get my skills back up before I take on some more complicated uh, projects that I might be doing in the near future but uh, my the pleasant surprise I got was that these rounders fit perfectly under the lid of these tobacco jars and uh, my ball, these mason jars, I should say. They're only tobacco jars if you put tobacco in them, right? But anyway, uh, you know, I, I use these. And I make the uh, stickers the way uh, Mutton Chop Piper taught us how to do. And uh, put them in the racks that he showed us how to get it. Uh, that he pointed out to us at Hobby Lobby, or Michael's, I mean. But anyway, once I found out, and I, at, at Walmart they had these kind of special ones for doing little jellies or whatever, seasonal gift givings, and I thought, well, that just makes a kind of a cool um, idea. So I started making them. My first attempt was uh, pretty sad. This is jar number one. And yeah, you know, you might like it. Uh, to me, I actually all my mistakes. It's really, you know. Certain techniques I used to do didn't quite work with the products that they have today. So, but I wanted to do a bunch of these and I thought they'd make great Christmas gifts for my, for my uh, family. So I started looking for different patterns to have a variety. And I'm going to either pick and give them to them or my ideal idea would be to have them kind of come to a Pick a number and you get to pick whichever one you want. If you were uh, my secret Santas through the uh, Distinguished Ruffians or uh, I think it was Badass Briars did another one on, on Instagram. You were the recipient of two of these jars. You know who you are. You've already, I've already sent them out and they've already posted on Instagram. And that was great to see that. I, I've sent a few out to the Dagners and... Um, the JWK2366 and a couple other friends here in Florida got, got some. But now I've just been busy doing them, but I wanted a variety. So got started looking for patterns to do. So found some from Al Stolman way back. Different craft aids I have have like there's a Celtic knot. And there's the skull. 
There's another Celtic knot. Here's another kind of Celtic knot. Here are some flowers. More flowers. And anyway, I was just looking for things that would fit on a rounder and things I could tool and and do. So let me, without further ado, in no particular order, let me just kind of take you through some of these. So, and, and what I did was I started with number one. And I numbered them, and I and because I had a, I first had a pack of twenty five rounders, and then I bought another hundred, but um, I I did them in, in order, I numbered them, and they're dated on the back, but um, just so I could keep track, and just so they're you know individually numbered, um, so in no particular order. Here's number fifteen, some pine cones, and again I don't have any particular person in mind right now, for who's gonna get what, but um, here's number fourteen. This is a uh, maple leaf and then here's number which one is this 26 it's a geometric pattern again I'm hoping I'm hitting this in the camera right um, here's number 20 this is a Pacific Pacific dogwood something like that Pacific dogwood um, here's number 21 and I, here's a skull. And I, and again, I, I did some duplicates. I gave, I've already sent, you know, uh, my next door neighbor was watching me make these and he moved away, but he loved this. So I gave him number 13. That was also a skull like that. Um, here's number 27, which is one of those flowers. Okay. And again, I'm, I'm just using it to practice uh, my techniques and trying to get better. Here's number nine. Which is a Celtic knot and I got it painted some colors here's number 10 which is another red Celtic knot here's number 12 which is what I always call a squash flower it's very typical in fact this is you know I did this one and I need to do it again because I need to do it better but this is um, um, what you call it this is sort of the standard pattern in the beginning leather books that teach you how to use all the tools. It teaches you how to use the pear shaders, teaches you how to use the camouflage tool, the veiners, the backgrounder, the beveler, the swivel knife, and all that. So, you know, everything, all the basics are in that pattern for sure. So that was, was uh, one. Here's number 16, which is an oak leaf pattern cluster which I really like some of these are really came out nice I like all of them number 17 uh, what is this forget the exact name of this one it is they call it oh I don't remember sorry I don't remember what they call that one it's a I think it's a wild rose no it's not a wild rose maybe it is maybe that is the wild rose it doesn't look like a rose this looks like a rose and uh, particularly happy with that one because it came out really deeply sculpted. So <clears throat> had the same kind of leaves as the other one. Here's another Celtic knot, this time in uh, black. Here's a secret. I tried to do purple. And purple kind of turned into black. So that's how that one ended up. Here's another geometric. This is number 25. And that's another geometric pattern I did. And here's another flower. Last one I'm going to show today is number 24. And that is, uh, again, just off of the flower um, craft aid. And uh, so that is the uh, complete group of what I have left. In other words, there were some others, but I've already mailed them out. But these are for all of my local family. And yeah, they, they know I'm doing it. It's not a secret. What they don't know is exactly which one they're getting. So we'll fix that here in a little over a week, right? So, thanks for spending time. Thanks for watching. And that's that's how I made it.